this scene, I used this 3D subway tunnel in Unreal Engine. I added a virtual character to the scene and a plastic hat in front of my green screen. This helped me set the lighting. I put the plastic hat to the side and recorded the scene. And yes, I could see my final composite while I was recording in Unreal Engine. I did the animation for the train, rendered out the scene and got my final result. I do have some beginner tutorials to learn Unreal Engine on my website. So check that out, the link is in the description below. We at Apple believe that life should be more than just getting groceries. That's why today we are proud to announce AppleBot. Time's been moving slowly, so we already in too deep Can't get no sleep on each other, heavy no. For this scene, I got my green screen shot first. But this time I used the Unreal Engine version of Aximetry. You could do this in Unreal Engine, but I love the render quality and this little fake shadow on the floor, which is great for studio scenes. I did the animation for the Apple Bot in Unreal Engine. Yes, I do have a mocap suit. But if you get my Unreal Engine starter lessons, I have some characters and animations for you. And of course, for free! The link is in the description below. I rendered out the scene and got my final result. You guys know that I live in this fancy cyberpunk apartment here, but what's new is that I have this drone inside now. I love it. For this scene, I got the cyberpunk apartment from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. I added some blue and warm white lights. I even added the softbox here. Did the same in the real world in front of my green screen to match the lighting, imported the clip, put it on the plane, rendered out the scene and got my final result. Colin and Samir. Yes, these two guys. I'm pretty sure they love CG. They're interested and especially they're interested what that means for the greater economy. After I got Unreal Engine set up and ready, I recorded my clip in front of my green screen. My camera was mounted on a tripod. I rotated it vertically to get a higher resolution picture of myself. The studio is a 3D world in Unreal Engine. I positioned the 3D composite plane where I wanted me to be in the studio. Then I put the first clip onto the plane, got rid of the green and boom, I was in the studio and added my virtual camera. This transformed my real life camera into a $250,000 camera. I ran out the scene and got my final result. Every day I fell in love with you, but was just a good friend for you. This is what I thought, and today I think, what if I was wrong? This scene helped me save half a million dollars. I always wanted to perform on a big stage. So I recorded myself singing in front of my green screen. But ouch, there was one big problem. I had a glitter jacket on. The worst thing that you can do is wear glitter in front of a green screen because you have the green reflecting in all the tiny parts of the jacket. So this time I used 3D gear in DaVinci Resolve to get rid of the green. It works like magic. And guess what, DaVinci Resolve is also free. I imported the keyed footage to Unreal Engine. The concert arena is a 3D world in Unreal Engine. This alone saved me $100,000 over renting an arena like this. I set camera movements in Sequencer. This saved me $50,000. The 3D world came with a huge light show. This saved me $350,000. Brings the total savings to a whopping $500,000. This way I was able to transform my old music video into a huge live concert. And I could do all this at home. For me this all is like a dream come true. It's super cool and so much fun. I have more videos like this coming up with even better scenes. So make sure to subscribe and see you soon.